Hey everyone, Liam here and welcome to my match preview and prediction for the match between Novak Djokovic and Andrew Rublev in the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. Let's get into it. Well, you have to start feeling bad for Andrew Rublev at this point. You know, he's now made every quarterfinal of every major. He's made, I believe, seven quarterfinals in since 2020 at majors, two in each, and then the first time here at Wimbledon. So, you know, he's been playing some great tennis, especially in that match against Alexander Bublik, who was a great match, to say that, you know, Rublev was able to just... Maintain his composure, even though he was, you know, he was two sets to love up, had match points in that fourth set. He made sure to sort of remain calm when Bublik was winning those that third and fourth set. And in the fifth set, he took his chance when it came up. And I mean, that point at 30-15 in the... Uh, in the in the final game of the match, that what a get from Rublev that was incredible stuff. Even Bublik was completely shocked, and it's great tennis from him, you know, to show to see that you know he's adaptable to all surfaces. He's he's played some great tennis on clay, he's played some great tennis on hard, and now he's playing some great tennis on grass. I'm hoping to see him have a little bit more success against Novak than he did, you know, in their last meeting, which was at the Australian Open. Uh, you know, Novak was completely dominant in that match. Obviously, the Australian Open is a court that he loves, but Wimbledon is a court that he loves as well. So it's uh, it's going to be tough for, for Rublev. He's uh, he's not, you know, the he's not going to have a lot going for him, especially if you look at that match for Novak Djokovic against uh, against Hubert Hercax. Hercax was serving out of this world. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen someone serve in the last few years someone served that well against Novak. I think he was serving even better than Kyrgios was serving in the final last year against Novak, and. Novak was just returning everything and anything and when Novak was serving his serve was even better at certain points because you know he might not have the pace or the power behind it but he has the accuracy and that really comes at a cost for players especially Hercax who you know likes to return balls early he didn't get enough control over the ball and hit a lot of unforced errors because of it I'm thinking coming into this one Novak is going to win it I mean there's no chance I, I think that he loses this match I don't see it being a four-set match. I don't see it being a five-set match. I do see it maybe getting a tiebreak or a 7-5 set in there. I don't see it being a 6-1, 6-2, 6-3 sort of situation like it was in Australia. We've seen Rublev play against Djokovic four times before the head-to-head is 3-1. Rublev did beat Djokovic at home in Serbia uh, against the crowd, obviously, who was all for Novak in the final a couple years ago but it's different here in Wimbledon where Novak really really cares about the event and really cares about winning so I think Novak's going to get the win get himself into the semis and straight sets but it might be a little bit tight in a few sets here and there just to give us a little bit of entertainment.